the Maryland Terrapins. And this team, it can drive you nuts if you're not careful. Just it could absolutely drive you insane. Mike Loxley, uh, 7-6 and six last year, won the bowl game, um, swapped out defensive coordinators. You know, we, we'll talk about him in just a minute, Brian Williams. Um, this team is really good on offense and really bad on defense and cannot beat anybody that actually has a pulse and hasn't been able to for years. Like, they always come out to to really hot starts and then lose a bunch of games and hope to God that they can find one of them against a really weak opponent where they can get to a bowl game. And it's the same thing year after year, and they did it again last year. You know, won four games early and then lost, like, what? Uh, I can't even do the math. Lost uh, six of the last eight. I mean, just just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Let's start off on offense here. Um, well, you, you know, let's do this. Returning production, 71% is number 36 in the country. Number 15, returning production on offense, and number 73 on defense. So, yeah, you would think maybe you take a step back on defense, but there's nothing to take a step back from. I mean, this defense was not good. So, if you're losing players off of a bad defense, maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, as far as the offense is concerned, Dan Enos, offensive coordinator, 69% of their total yards came through the air last year. That was number 19 in FBS. Uh, it might be more this year because the wide receiver core that Baby 2 has got coming back, Talia Tagovailoa, uh, they are legit. I mean, just absolutely legit. You got Jarrett, Copeland, Demas Jr., etc. The running back, McDonald, uh, is is pretty good. Uh the, the entire offensive line is back. I mean, the offense is going to be good. Offense was number 15 overall success rate last year. Only number 44 in PPA per drive. Uh, they were number 30 in total scoring opportunities, uh, but only number 74 in points per drive. Like, you you got to finish drives when you get down there. They were not able to get touchdowns, basically. Uh, that's what the points per scoring opportunity really was. Um, and for those that don't know, scoring opportunity drive where you get a first down inside the opponent's 40-yard line. So, I'm, you know, I like the offense, but I've always liked the offense. Like, I think I think Talia Tungvaloa is a star at quarterback. I think he's insanely good, and I think they've got all the skill talent that you could possibly want. Now we move to the defense. Defense coordinator Brian Williams, he called the defense for the last two games. They gave up 16 to Rutgers and only 10 to Virginia Tech. So, the two best defensive games that they had all season – he was calling. However, circumstances do matter. Rutgers had no pulse on offense, and Virginia Tech uh, was missing a bunch of guys, had just fired Justin Fuente. I mean, it was just a disaster, right? So Maryland beat up on two teams that really they should have beat up on. Defense was number 79 in PPA per drive, number 127 in total scoring opportunities, and number 72 in points per scoring opportunity. Overall, the efficiency... Not great. They were number 79 in PPA per drive. They were number 89 in rushing success rate allowed. Number 63 in passing success rate allowed. So that was okay. Okay. Uh, injuries to this unit have not been kind. They they lost defensive end Darrell Intami. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, you can correct me in the comments. Uh, along with cornerback Banks. So like early last year, that, that certainly hurt because you didn't have him for the rest of the year. You know, they got new transfers coming in. The edge, Cowan, you got the defensive end, Fuller, coming in. I I think that there's at least some hope. There's some promise here. And when you've got an offense that good that you can lean on, especially when they're not throwing, you know, five interceptions against Iowa or whatever. Uh, but when you have a team that you can rely on the offense to put up points, then the defense can take chances and they can be aggressive and they can do stuff like that. And I expect that from, from Williams. This team is a projected favorite in six games. Now, that's a, that's a little tricky. you got five toss-ups here. Toss-ups, of course, any game that is projected to be within one score. I, I look at the schedule. I expect big things early. Um, you know, coming out, coming out of the gate 3-0, and I, I fully expect that. But you do have two teams that can really score with you if your offense is not up to snuff. Uh, you got at Charlotte in week two, SMU in week three. 
At keys to the season here, uh, are they going to start quick and crumble again? I mentioned that earlier. It seems to happen every year. Like, can you actually beat good teams this year? And then number two, can the defensive transfers help improve the defense? Uh, the offense is going to need help with that brutal conference schedule, especially late. You know, win total here is six. It's juiced to the under at minus 125. Um, I've got them at six and six again. Uh, I've got them making another bowl game, a win against Rutgers, a win against Northwestern, and I've actually got an upset win over Michigan State. Um, you know, and then winning the first three games. Like, could I see them finding another win in there somewhere? Like, do I think they could beat Purdue? Yeah, sure. Do I think they could win at Indiana? Yeah, absolutely. Do I think they could probably lose to Michigan State? Yeah. Uh, but crazy stuff happens. So, I I think this team is going to be pretty good. The offensive skill talent is the best outside of Ohio State. The defense still has a ton of questions. So, I... I am looking at six and six. I think a bowl game would be another strong season for Loxley and maybe another step in the right direction. Keep shoring up the recruiting class. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.